So I break down what do you need to know about how the Fortnite Unreal Editor will work. Epic Games is in the process of massively expanding its tools for game creation, but that's gone further than most expected this week with the announcement of a Fortnite Unreal Editor. This is going to allow players to create entire games and launch within Fortnite itself. The new Fortnite Unreal Editor is massively going to expand what you can make in-game. It's the Creative 2.0 that's been in Fortnite leaks for a few seasons now. After quite a few delays, it looks like a full batch of tools is arriving now. The entire editor is going to hit the game on March 22. Players can expect to find much more expansive sets of options for making things in Fortnite Creative Tools. This is how the Fortnite Unreal Editor is going to work and what level of creativity players are going to have access to once it drops. The Fortnite Unreal Editor is a huge addition to the game, but what exactly is it going to be? It starts with a Fortnite Creative, that's a set of in-game tools for creating your own game mode. Players have gotten crazy creative with the included tools, but they were limited. You had to use Fortnite's existing assets and had limited options to mess with things. That hasn't stopped some from making really cool levels but the new editor is going to take that to the next level. The new version of the editor is going to be available only on PC. It functions more like the full version of Unreal, being basically the same program. Using these new tools, you can create things that couldn't ever exist in Fortnite. Players can use custom assets, art, audio, animations, and even VFX. New game logic can be directly programmed using Verse. That's a new feature of a Fortnite Unreal Engine. It's Epic's own coding language. While no one is expecting this to become a new standard, it means people don't have to learn an entire programming language to get started. Epic has created an alternative which can be easier to start things off with. Between leaks and Epic's CEO directly commenting on the project, Everyone knew a major step up was coming for creative. In some screenshots, players had even built a Pokemon-like world out of the tools. An entire Unreal Editor is a bit bigger than what most assumed was coming though. This is far bigger than Creative 2.0. Instead, it's a full way to load just about any experience in Fortnite as a hub world. For a title that started life as a simple herd defense game, it just gotten kind of crazy. The Battle Royale often claims to be a metaverse and innovations like an Unreal Editor for Fortnite is going to help the title fulfill that idea more than ever. Once these tools have existed for a bit, you are going to be able to find anything you can make with Unreal in Fortnite itself. Without having to download any more games, you're just getting access to loads of experience just through the Fortnite menu. This new version of creative levels in Fortnite is a natural evolution. It's increasingly become a big part of the game. User created content and diverse enough to keep loads of players occupied without ever touching Battle Royale. With these new tools, it could be conceivable that you wouldn't ever have to download another title, even if you got sick of Battle Royale. The Fortnite Unreal Editor is going to be released soon, but it has a different system for accessing than a normal creative mode we are all used to. Instead of going through the Fortnite app itself, it will be a standalone program. Since it's a much larger suite of tools, this makes sense. There's no need to bloat the Fortnite file size with this. It also helps avoid having to turn the requirements for Fortnite up again. Previous new season for Fortnite included making a higher operating system part of the requirements. Older hardware players would previously need to use the best Fortnite settings to get a better performance, but many now just have to upgrade. This change likely facilitates the new creative mode. Having the tools as a separate program helps avoid having to turn the requirements up even further and keeps Fortnite accessible. The Fortnite Unreal Engine is coming out very soon. After a few delays, it's going to come into the game itself on March 22. It might take a bit longer for you to see elaborate creations popping up in the game though. It's going to take a bit of a time for people to actually make things with the tools. 
so it's worth keeping a bigger eye on creative for a little while. Players work on their masterpieces. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what y'all think about that. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one.